What's up everyone this is tony with journey crypto there's not too much going on in the crypto markets today but i am going to go over the markets uh discuss some important news as well as some updates in the nft space and stuff going on there i am going to be doing an nft giveaway i will announce at the end of this video also so before we get started i do appreciate if you guys like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified for regular videos All right, guys, so the crypto markets are looking pretty good today. We do have Bitcoin holding above $50,000, which is a great sign. We do have Ethereum around $3,900 right now, getting close to its previous all-time high. ADA uh, did break $3.10. Now, having a small dip here, there was some FUD I do want to talk about with Cardano, uh, some skepticism about uh, smart contracts and how that launch is going to go. So I will talk about that. Uh, but that only dipped a few percent uh did dip to around two dollars and eighty cents already recovering though finance bnb at five hundred dollars xrp at a dollar 25 solana i do believe that broke a uh, hundred fifty dollars pretty crazy how much solana has gone up uh, in the last couple weeks so we also had axi infinity axs token surge once again this morning uh nearly hitting a hundred dollars so if we look at the one day here, this did peak out uh, just around $95, now having a small pullback to $82. So this has just been surging crazy in the last couple months here. If you guys check uh, this chart out, July 1st, it was only $5.50. Now this is closing in on $100, massive uh, gains in a short period of time. I do believe this is because of the scholarship program that was launched and allowing a lot of people to make a good side income with the Axie Infinity game. So lots of uh, gaming cryptocurrencies uh, that also use NFTs are really surging lately, especially as we see Axie Infinity AXS token doing good. A lot of people see the potential here and they're looking for alternatives similar to Axie Infinity. So we did have some fear and misinformation about Cardano spreading today, uh, but really not causing much of a price dip for ADA. Uh, so it did drop from around $2.95 to $2.80. But as you guys can see, this has already started recovering. And we're closing back in on three dollars again so when you zoom out here the seven day uh or the one month you guys can see uh, we're pretty much on a steady incline here but we do have small pullbacks every time we do have a new leg up and we do have about a uh, week and a half left before uh, cardano smart contracts launch so i definitely think uh, we could be testing three dollars and fifty cents by then especially if bitcoin is breaking fifty two thousand dollars we do have Bitcoin holding above $50,000, which is a great sign. Uh, the entire crypto space uh, starting to recover. I'm noticing a lot of small cap altcoins going up 50 to a couple hundred percent in a short period of time, catching back up to their uh, real market value. So as Bitcoin and Ethereum continue in an uptrend, then a lot of these smaller cap altcoins are really going to start blasting off, especially the ones with mainnets coming up and uh, major partnerships and stuff. Anything that brings a lot of attention and demand to the project is going to help the price rise very quickly because uh, with such a small market cap it really doesn't take uh, nearly as much money coming in uh, to really make the market move unlike top cryptocurrencies that have billion dollar market caps it takes a lot more money uh, to move top 10 cryptocurrencies than it does cryptocurrencies below the top 200. so if you guys want to check out that video charles hoskinson did on smart contracts and beyond i will put a link to that in the video description below this is an hour-long video uh, going pretty in depth on uh, what's to come after smart contracts so definitely a good listen uh, especially uh, if you're worried about the FUD today so uh, Sunday Swap Labs did an article on this as well in light of the recent controversy regarding Cardano's EU TXO model and concurrency we wrote an article clarifying misconceptions and proposed a few solutions so if you guys do want to check out that article by Sunday Swap Concurrency State and Cardano going more in depth on the FUD today and misconceptions I will link this article in the video description alongside the video of Charles Hoskinson. So with Cardano smart contracts coming up, Cardano has been in the spotlight. Demand for ADA has been rising. A lot of people buying up ADA, taking it out of circulation and staking this. Uh, so we did have the price of ADA break $3, which was a new all-time high, pretty huge. Uh, having a small pullback now, but I do think we will have at least one more leg up um, in price before uh, smart contracts actually launches. Hopefully they don't have any delays with this and everything is good to go. Uh, but even if we do have a delay uh, there may be a small pullback but i do think the price of ada will be rising towards end of year still especially with bitcoin and ethereum on a steady incline also if we see bitcoin breaking previous all-time highs i definitely think we're going to be uh, passing a five dollar ada by end of year and i still think a ten dollar ada is possible by end of year also depending of course how the rest of the crypto market does and uh, how well uh, cardano does after the launch of smart contracts how many partnerships roll out from this and how much success uh, the blockchain sees in a short period of time. So 
So I do want to give you guys a quick reminder about uh, having a good entry and exit strategy and how important this is to your long-term success. In the Fear and Greed Index, we're currently at a 73 in greed, and uh, this could con uh, continue rising. The crypto space could uh, continue breaking upwards. We could see $100,000 Bitcoin, new all-time highs for many cryptocurrencies by end of year. But at the same time, it is good to have a good entry and exit strategy, and it may be a good idea to take small profits as we climb the greed index. So uh, the more greedy this gets, uh, the less people want to sell, and the higher the prices are going, and the quicker uh, they're going. And this is usually when mass retail is getting involved as well. So I did a post about this on Twitter. I do recommend you guys follow me at JRNYCrypto on Twitter if you guys do want uh, time-sensitive information and more tips on crypto. So greed prevents you from taking profits when you should, and fear causes you to sell when you shouldn't. If you guys think about this, uh, it will make a lot of sense. And uh, if you do learn to flip this psychology, then you generally will do a lot better in the crypto space as well because you will be selling on the way up and then you will be buying on the way down instead of the opposite where you're selling uh, when uh, things are already down and there's a lot of fear in the space and uh, you're not taking profits when uh, things are actually doing good and everything's at new all-time highs. So having a good entry and exit strategy and follow through uh, when the time comes, remove emotion from the equation and you will be a much better trader. So just a couple tips here and a quick reminder, uh, especially as uh, we do uh, close in on previous Bitcoin all-time highs and as the crypto space continues uh, climbing in general. So um, personally, I only take small profits. I'm a very long-term investor, but your entry and exit strategy may be different. You may be in the crypto space because you want to buy something like a house or an expensive car or something. So uh, your exit strategy may be geared uh, a little differently and you may be uh, wanting to take more profits along the way than I am. I'm uh, personally staking and lending a lot of my cryptocurrency and earning passive income on that. Adding uh, more to that uh, every bi-weekly paycheck I get, I do add a uh, percent of everything I get paid into the crypto space also. And I will continue doing that very long term because I do see the very long term um, opportunity here. So we have Bloomberg senior strategist calls Bitcoin a global reserve asset on the path to $100,000. So it is good to be seeing uh, more big names like this, uh, making bold predictions like this, Bitcoin going to 100,000, even a million dollars. I've seen Ethereum going to $10,000. A lot of people are getting very bullish on the crypto space because so many companies are getting involved. Uh, there's just so much money being printed by governments around the world, uh, inflation kicking in, all kinds of different factors that are bringing mass adoption to cryptocurrency. I do think the gaming space and NFT space is bringing a ton of new people to the crypto space also. So if South Africa's financial regulator issues warning against Binance, South African authorities are the latest to warn against using Binance, saying the exchange is not authorized to operate in the country. We're seeing this a lot happen to Binance specifically. And I do think Binance is uh, way too big of a behemoth in the crypto space right now. And I do think a lot of new exchanges will be emerging for various uh, countries. And I do think that's a good thing that Binance doesn't hold such a uh, large market share in the crypto space because it makes it way too centralized. And if Binance does get hacked or something or something goes wrong with this, it could cause a mar uh, massive market crash in the entire crypto space. Already, Binance alone owns uh, such a huge share of many different cryptocurrencies because they earn uh, parts of these cryptocurrencies every time someone transacts in them. Uh, because of the trading fees so we do have binance pushing back against warning from south africa regulators stating that they are uh, either compliant or working to become compliant binance claimed the country's financial intelligence center was the major regulator with which it had been working at to become compliant with local laws so we do have to keep in mind headlines like this aren't always official this uh, doesn't mean that binance is getting banned in south africa this is just one regulator making this claim uh, so we do have to keep that in mind uh, sometimes Fear will be spread in the markets. That's really unnecessary. And we do have to wait until uh, there's official sources on things. All right, guys. So before I end the video, I do want to jump into NFTs and discuss uh, some updates on that. So I did pick the winner for the Doge Pound NFT. If you guys want to check that out, uh, the winner was selected is posted on my Twitter account. I'm also going to be posting a new giveaway here uh, that I did a vote for. Space Punks Club won this. So I will be giving away one of those next. Uh, current value around 0.5 Ethereum, a couple grand. And I do believe that value will be going up in the next couple weeks leading up to the airdrop coming up of dinosaur NFTs. Basically, every Space Punk Club NFT you hold, you get, uh, will get one of those NFTs for free. 
So um, I do think the value of that will be going up. I will be giving one of those away on my Twitter. If you guys want to enter that, just uh, go over to my Twitter at JRNY Crypto. There's also links to everything in the video description. So if you guys missed out on the board API club, I do think the mutant API club is at a good entry point right now. Uh, some of these actually look really cool. This is the M2 variation of my noise for OG ape. So uh, the M2s obviously go for more, but the M1 variations, uh, there's actually some cool ones and they're a little bit cheaper. As you guys can see, the Mutant API Club price floor is at 4.27 Ethereum right now. And I do think this will be going up in the long term. Uh, we have to keep in mind they raised $100 million for that pre-sale and they're earning 2.5% on um, all the volume traded on OpenSea as well. So that means for every 100,000 Ethereum uh, volume traded here, they are making 2,500 Ethereum. And they've only been live for a week so far and they almost have 100,000 volume traded. So they have massive amount of funding. And uh, not only that, but the community uh, is really helping uh, this brand branch out as well. So imagine having $100 million, all the different things they're going to develop for the Board Ape brand. And I do think uh, this is basically uh, one of the main name brands in the NFT space and will continue growing in value in the long term. We have to keep in mind these sets just got launched. And I do think uh, a few years down the line here, uh, when they're as old as CryptoPunks, they're going to be a couple hundred Ethereum or more uh, for the OG apes. And I definitely think these mutant apes will be um, at least over 20 Ethereum price floor uh, in the upcoming year to two years. So personally, I do have a collector mindset when it comes to NFTs. I'm buying these NFTs to hold for years out, and I'm not looking to make quick flips uh, with these. The people that are uh, in the NFT space just to make quick flips, a lot of these people are getting burned because uh, they buy an NFT during the peak of the hype. And then as the uh, hype is dying out, they just take the loss. I see that a lot on here. If you guys uh, browse through NFT sets, as you guys can see this one right here, last paid was 5.5 Ethereum. They're selling it for 4.5 Ethereum now because the price floor dropped. They're not willing to wait a couple weeks even until uh, demand picks up again. As I've been saying, uh, waves of demand come to NFT sets every two to five weeks, as I've been noticing. I do think that will change as, um, as we begin going forward and a lot more people start getting into the NFT space. And we do have uh, other blockchains starting to get uh, pickup traction with NFTs also like Solana and Cardano NFTs. So we'll uh, really see how things develop. But for now, I do think Ethereum is going to hold the majority share of NFT volume. And I do think uh, this Board Ape and Mutant Ape Yaw Club is one to stay that will be like CryptoPunks in the long term. So um, if you guys do want to find more NFT sets that I'm invested in, I did mention some in this uh, poll that I did on Twitter. Uh, the Doge Pound NFTs just launched their new puppies, uh, which are currently under half an Ethereum. Fluff World is around one Ethereum. Uh, Space Punks Club is around half Ethereum. Rickstro Bulls are uh, around 0.1 Ethereum and less. Uh, so the uh, problem with these really cheap sets is the current gas fees. If you're paying $100 more gas fee for an NFT that's only $100 to $200, it really doesn't seem worth it, especially because uh, the sets are going to be smaller the cheaper they are and the less demand there is, so the more uh, higher risk it is at the same time. If gas fees do drop though, I will be looking to pick up a lot of uh, uh, NFTs and small sets like Rickstro Bull. So we do have a Board Ape auction going on right now, and this isn't any ordinary auction. It's a total of 101 Board Apes, uh, estimated value uh, up to $20 million. I do think this will sell for much more, currently at $4.8 million bid, and we got four days and 10 hours to go, and I do think the majority of bids will be in the last couple hours. I do think this will pass $20 million. Uh, there is three gold apes in this lot, as you guys can see. These gold apes can sell for up to $2 million alone now, especially this one's a uh, really good one here. Uh, both of these are actually, and there's a total of three of them. There's uh, a couple other rare ones. Uh, the beam ones, this one could probably sell for 150 Ethereum. Um, the psychedelic ones can sell for over 100 Ethereum. The diamond grills can sell for over 100 Ethereum. So lots of crazy value in here, and I definitely think this is going to go for a lot. Um, and then we do have uh, Christie's Auction doing a Bored Ape auction as well mid-September. So I definitely think the value of Bored Apes, uh, a lot of attention demand coming to them. They will be, uh, the floor price will be rising still. And I do think those Mutant Apes are actually at a decent price. And they do have another set of dog NFTs called the Bored Ape Kennel Club. Those are actually a uh, pretty good floor price also. So uh, that's it for today's video. Um, like I said, I will be launching a Space Punks Club NFT giveaway that you can find on my Twitter after this video. And I will be doing more giveaways. I'll be doing a Fluff World giveaway coming up and another Doge Pound uh, puppy giveaway. 
and I will be uh, doing a 3000 S fund token giveaway, which is around $10,000 value and some other giveaways I am working on. Also, I'm trying to get a big giveaway going once a week and partnering with uh, different sets and stuff to make this possible. So be sure to follow me on Twitter to participate in those and get breaking news. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube for regular uh, crypto videos. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching and I do appreciate if you guys like the video, comment below and share this video anywhere on social media or with friends and family. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.